wellness mantra by kunchan if i tell you that one bowl of sprouts has the most balanced nutrients which means in a bowl of moong chana sprout you will get around 200 calories out of which 40% energy comes from the proteins only which are found in these sprouts 100 grams of black chana sprout contains 10 grams of proteins and 100 grams of moong dal sprout has 32 grams of proteins so if you are eating 50 grams of each in one meal you will get around 21 grams of proteins in one meal which is nearly equivalent to one scoop of protein powder in a nutshell sprouts can be the best food to eat every day especially those who have food cravings and want to lose weight or want to control their diabetes welcome to my channel and do subscribe and like this video of course if you like it today i'm going to tell you how to make moong and chana sprout at home and a recipe for it now let's see how we can make sprouts at home which is a recipe of moong dal and kala chana no matter if it is cold or hot weather you can easily make it at home with just simple trick and it is absolutely full of proteins and complex carbohydrates first we will soak the whole moong dal lentil and black gram or chana overnight after washing it thoroughly by 2 to 3 good washes so that all its dirt can be washed away so a tip here make sure you take 2 to 3 times the water for soaking it up as these lentils will swell up overnight and if there is less water then it will not be soaked up properly and in consequence half lay or unsoaked lentils will not be able to convert into sprouts and then you will tell me oh it didn't work now next day morning take a cotton cloth or a large strainer and strain the water since we washed the lentils properly you can use this water for making rice dal curry etc as this water has a lot of nutrients now take the separated overnight soaked moong dal and kala chana in this cotton cloth and keep them in a box where just a little air can go inside like in this container i kept the lid loose and tightly close the cloth opening so that the air can easily circulate in this box Basically it gives the exact conditions for growing a seed in a natural way under the soil means we have given some air and also some dampness or moist conditions now leave it in this box like this for at least 8 to 10 hours depending how hot it is there where we kept this if it is very cold weather you can keep this box in the microwave but don't turn that on while it is kept there else If your house is nicely warm, you can simply leave it on your kitchen platform like I left it for 8 hours just on my kitchen platform. After 7 to 8 hours, you can see that the seeds are germinated and are ready to eat. But here again I would like to remind you that you can simply wash them again with at least two waters. In case any bacteria or germs are there as we kept it in a cloth that can be washed away just a precautionary step for you and try to consume them in 2 to 3 days by storing it in the fridge you can make them on a rolling basis on every second or third day so that it is available to you all the time now simply chop an onion a tomato and a cucumber and mix all of these ingredients together you can sprinkle a little bit of himalayan or normal table salt if you want you can add some sunflower or flax seeds on the top to increase the fibers antioxidants and protein contents for your weight loss meal also if you wish to add some ginger coriander and a spoon of coconut or olive oil you can definitely add them so a question must be arising in your mind how come it is different from the unsprouted lentil let's see the difference between dry lentil and a germinated lentil which means sprout in one cup around 100 grams of non sprouted moong dal contains around 25 grams of proteins while sprouting increases its protein content and one bowl of sprouts can give you 32 grams of proteins 
So why not to take it in the form of a sprouts? It is the best vegetarian protein option on an easy basis. You will get most of the amino acids in this diet. Eating it every day in your snacks or your breakfast or even your dinner can be a boon for you. The benefits of sprouts are numerous. Sprouts are a great source of proteins. It is responsible for giving you a feeling of full for longer means you will not get hungry easily if you have consumed proteins. It builds your muscles and helps you to stop your food cravings. It helps in digestion. The germinated seed of any lentil means sprout has a dietase enzyme and also has phytic acid which helps in digestion. It can help in lowering cholesterol, good for heart health, amazing for diabetics, by controlling their blood sugars. It may lower your anemia due to its iron contents and also can help those who have bone issues because it has plenty of calcium also. It has got all vitamins in its maximum strength because of the germination. In these sprouts, you will get vitamin A, B complex, C and E. These all help you to take care of your eyes, skin, hairs, food absorption and losing weight. Vitamin A which is good for eyes, Vitamin B complex which is very important for the cell functions as well as for your digestion. Vitamin C which is very important for iron absorption and Vitamin E which is so important for your sexual health, vision and skin health. But let me remind you a few things to remember while consuming sprouts. First, wash it thoroughly because you are going to eat it raw so if there is any bacteria or dirt that can cause you stomach problems don't fry or boil it as heat can kill all its nutrients and it is recommended to eat in your breakfast or mid meal snack or as a salad before your any meal so start eating your homemade sprouts and feel the difference in your body energy repairing hair skin and controlling blood sugars. With this, I'll take a leave. Hope to see you soon in the next episode.